Alright, so something huge just happened today. YouTube just updated their harassment policy. They wrote this gigantic text explaining it, but they did a little too long, didn't read version on their Twitter. Stricter stance on abusive language, blah blah blah. Basically, you can't attack someone based on their race or physical traits and all that. Stricter stance on threats, you know, like, for, like physical violence and all that. Consequences for harassment patterns. This is what's worrying commentary channels because commentary channels tend to criticize other creators, usually based on their content. But even if you like jokingly insult someone, I guess that's not okay anymore. And comment moderation, but the YouTuber can pretty much just control this one, so this one's not that big of a deal. And yeah, they've gotten a huge negative response. People are saying it sounds like an SJW move and all that. The thing is, this all sounds good at face value, but when you see how they enforce these rules, that's when we all get a little bit worried. For example, there's this huge YouTuber called iDubs who makes criticism videos on people. In those videos, while criticizing their content, he still makes jokes about people's appearance and their personality and all that. But one, they're usually just jokes, and two, he usually targets people who are like mean and unethical, and their channels are actually based on bullying. For example, his video, which was a content cop on a YouTuber named Leafy, was deleted today by YouTube. And Leafy's entire channel is him bullying other creators, but none of his videos have been taken down to my knowledge. Leafy was literally the guy who popularized all the harassment videos on this website, yet his videos aren't being taken down. It's incredibly strange to think about. This guy named Eddie Burback tweeted about it and said, So let's pretend that YouTube removing the Leafy content cop was fair. Is it okay for YouTube to change its guidelines, then remove content that was posted before the change? If you follow YouTube's rules in 2019 and they change them in 2030, should they remove all your content? He's saying this because the content cop on Leafy was made years ago. He also tweeted directly at YouTube CEO and said, Hello Susan, legitimate question here. Do you think showing a dead body to children or promoting gambling to them is more acceptable than making fun of someone's appearance? YouTube seems to have taken that as a hard stance with their actions. If you don't know, he's referring to Logan Paul going to Japan and doing whatever he did with that dead body. He's a terrible person and I don't like him. But YouTube did not take down his video, in fact they put it on the trending page. And the gambling is in reference to his brother Jake Paul who is also a terrible person, and Ricegum. Their videos have not been taken down. So this guy presents the question, what is worse, making fun of someone's chin like iDubbbz did the Leafy, or corrupting children with lies and showing them disrespect to a dead body? Keemstar tweeted about this and actually made a good point. Why are the late night hosts allowed to roast people on YouTube, pick on people's physical appearance but other YouTubers can't? Wouldn't there be tons of Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, and John Oliver videos be taken down today? This is in reference to YouTube clearly favoring late night talk show hosts like movie companies, music companies, and all that. They can basically do whatever they want in their videos and YouTube will never demonetize them or take their videos down. For example, I'm not a Trump supporter, but Jimmy Kimmel actually makes fun of Donald Trump's appearance all the time in pretty much a lot of his videos. Makes fun of his appearance, makes fun of the way he speaks. Is that not considered harassment? We have to be fair with what we do here instead of having like this political bias with things. As a centrist, it really pisses me off. So yeah, essentially it seems like we can never make videos ever making fun of someone's personal appearance, even if it's a joke. I'm not necessarily worried about that because I never do that myself. But I think people should be allowed to joke around with each other. I mean, come on. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about YouTube's new rules. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.